Lauren, thank you. Well, his business was charging veterans top dollar for artwork to commemorate their service to this country. But state investigators say what he was spending the money on instead of fulfilling the orders is why the attorney general is now suing. Now, it all comes after a chief investigative reporter, Jeremy Finley, first exposed this company last year. After three tours to Iraq, Sergeant Josh Sadler thought there was no better way to spend his money than to buy a beautiful, glossy wooden flag from fellow veteran Justin Scott. That was before Sadler paid in full and never received anything from Scott. If you could say something to him, what would you say? I would say it's, it's, this is called karma, and it's pronounced ha 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 ha. Karma because of this, a lawsuit from the Attorney General's office suing Scott's Trenton, Tennessee company, Rustic Flag, based on what News 4 Investigates first exposed last year. Accusations that Scott took the money of more than 1,100 customers, many of them veterans, and never delivered on the flags that could cost up to $400. And that's a lot of money to people to pay for something that they just give away. And now state investigators say while Scott wasn't producing the flags, he was spending the money on himself, including buying three new cars, two new four-wheelers, paying off his home loan, and spending $25,000 on landscaping at his house. Especially if you're a veteran yourself and you're ripping off other veterans, that's, that's a horrible way to do business. The phone numbers for Scott's business are now disconnected, a kind of customer service his clients have come to expect. Jeremy Finley, News 4 Investigates. Now, News 4 Investigates has also tried to reach out to Justin Scott on social media and in emails. The Attorney General's complaint reads that they believe Scott simply could not keep up with the demand of orders, but continued to take money from new customers.